Alrighty then, everybody. How you guys doing? It's March 11th, 2022. Look at how fast this guy's going. He's the type of person who supports our town because he, he has to pay a lot in tickets probably. I don't want anyone to get a ticket though. Guys, guess what? Guess what? Yesterday was my freaking birthday, dude. I was 42 yesterday. Now I'm 42 in one day. I just can't believe it. I can't believe I'm that freaking old. Anyway, I love you guys, man. Thank you guys for... I. So many of you just wished me a happy birthday anyway, not knowing that it was my birthday. So I'm just truly in awe of you guys. You guys are so unbelievably awesome. And I just want you guys to know how much I love you guys. Love you guys tremendously. So this video right now is going to be a video to show you guys how much snow remains in Big Bear after this recent storm that we just had. And unfortunately, it's not looking too great. So we're gonna kind of drive to the Sugarloaf area. Sugarloaf area, my friend, yes, yes, my friend. Go to Sugarloaf, yes, 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 yes. But we're gonna take the back road, the back streets all the way. All the freaking way, bro. All the freaking way. And you guys, there are a couple of you, well, I love all of you a lot. But there's a couple of you who have started some YouTube channels and I really want you guys to, you know, help each other out, man. That's one thing that's very special about this channel is that everybody seems to be so helpful towards each other and it's just such a beautiful gift. My goodness, it's a beautiful gift. So, Connie Lee, you guys know Connie and her whole diamond situation. And Connie, you guys, she is such a special lady. She is such a special lady. I wish she didn't live so far away because I could definitely hang out with her. She is so cool and always so loving and helpful towards me and it, it makes me feel really good that she's always caring enough. So Connie, thank you for caring enough so much. And you are absolutely awesome. And everyone should know who Connie is at this point, at, le at least the people who watch the channel. So. Um, yeah, I hope you guys subscribe to, to Connie's channel. Uh, we have another another friend, Angela Hulsberg, Huls, Hulsberg. And guys, this is another just amazing person with a heart that is just so beautiful, so special. She is so special, so wonderful. She's going through some medical issues right now, but she is so awesome that she's sharing what's going on with the whole world and I can clearly see why she's doing it because she knows she has the ability to help other people as well and Angela I just want you to know that you are awesome and it's Angela with two L's you guys yeah dog so my, my girl so Angela I hope you're doing good I hope you're feeling good today just know I got a lot of love for you as well our friend Wolf's Bane Explorations this guy does some amazing stuff he does some really, really amazing stuff. If you guys like stuff like ghost hunters and stuff like that, that's, that's what he does. He's been very supportive for many, many years on this channel. And as I said, I love you guys so much. And anything I can do to help you guys in any way is an honor. It's an absolute honor. And it makes me feel really, really good, especially for those of you who, who are putting an effort into life and into stuff like just trying to make your life better and trying to follow what you're passionate about and the only the best advice that I could give any of you and I, I'm telling you guys this is from from my soul this is from deep down the best advice I can give you guys for the YouTube channel is don't start your YouTube channel uh, with the goal to make money that that's seriously you do not want to do that start the channel because you love what you're doing and you have a passion for what you're doing I promise you that is the only way that you will never lose at doing this. You will never lose. You know, being passionate about what you do already is a win because you're not working at all. It's not ever a job when you're doing what you love to do. When you wake up in the morning and say, oh my gosh, I get to do this today, as opposed to how I used to be, which was, oh my gosh, I have to go to work today, that sucks. It's not that attitude anymore, it's completely different. So um, just 
just remember, don't do this to try to make money because the chances of that happening are very, very slim. I'm not saying it's impossible, certainly possible, but it's very, very slim. It's very difficult. Um, as you guys notice, I don't ask people to subscribe or hit the like button. That's me. I suggest that all of you guys do that though. I, I strongly suggest that. Um, but yeah, just never forget that. Make sure that you're doing this because it's something you're your heart loves to do and don't do it with the goal of making any money because I don't want you guys to um, stress yourselves out okay I'm telling you right now if you put in your your heart and soul into what you're doing work your butt off and have pride in what you're doing because you love it so much I promise you no no matter what you win you freaking win you win like how awesome is that and when you're winning and feeling good inside, it's a lot easier to help other people as well. So it's it's a it's a, a beautiful situation. I don't want you guys selling yourself short or lying to yourselves about anything. Just follow your passion 100% passionately. Don't have any ulterior motives. And look, if 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 the money ends up coming in, then what a blessing. That's just icing on the cake. And we couldn't be any more grateful for that, right guys? So, once again, for those of you who I love so much, who are making YouTube channels and doing it because it's something that you love to do, first of all, I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud to know you guys. I am so proud to know you guys. It makes me so happy inside. So, once again, I will, I will be here for you, whatever you need, any questions you, you guys have. Um, because yeah, it's, this is a fun thing to do. Um, being able to have a YouTube channel and doing it without any expectation is is very freeing. It's as free as it gets. And that's all I want for you guys. I want you guys to, to be able to be in that same position and experience the success and happiness like that. Um, and then as I said, if if the money comes in, what a what a nice added bonus. But seriously, like you, you should be at a point where you wake up every day and you're just like, oh my gosh, I get to do this today. I can't believe this. And pinching yourself and just uh, having goosebumps everywhere. Now, that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to thrive. I want you guys to succeed. I want you guys to kick ass and take names out there. Because we all have that ability, you guys. I would sell myself short for so many years because I didn't think I was good enough. And I was always such a people pleaser, trying to do what's uh, best for other people and what I thought would make them feel good instead of actually, you know, being real. Like from 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 my soul, I, it was always about pleasing people. And uh, yeah, it's very nice to be respectful, of course it is. But my gosh, you guys, be to thine own self be true. To thine own self be true. And I'm just, uh, I'm just very proud to be able to have a outlet to be able to help you guys, man. So yeah, so Connie Lee, Angela Kultzberg, and Wolf, Wolf. Oh my gosh, why, why do I always? I have dyslexia, so his name for some reason always screws with me. Wolf. Oh my gosh, Wolf. Oh, wow, I'm so embarrassed explorations oh my gosh seriously dude I promise you I, I will I will get that right I will get that right I promise you I will get get that right and uh, also we've got a couple other friends up here who for those of you who are homeowners and stuff like that and uh, you, you need help with different stuff on your property I've got a couple really, really, really good friends who I trust so much. Once again, you guys, just like my friend who does the auto mechanic stuff up here, I tell you guys, if you feel like he ripped you off, I'll pay for your service. That's how much I know he's an honest, good dude. And these guys are the exact same way. This is my friend John and my friend Bobby. And this is their business card. So basically they do everything in home maintenance type of stuff. They can build whatever you need, tear down whatever you need. Let me get this phone number straight here. There's no there, there's no one behind us, so we're not holding anybody up. I don't want you guys to think we're holding anybody up. 
And once again, with these guys, I would suggest that if you don't feel like the job's being done 100% properly, then I'll pay for the service. But I promise you guys, these guys are wonderful dudes. They're really, really, really great guys. As a matter of fact, we're gonna pull over right here. There's no one behind us. Just to show you guys this part of the card real quickly. Okay, so yeah, there's no one behind us, so don't worry. So I am very, 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 very honored to help these these guys out because they are some super good dudes. Hang on, guys. Super good dudes. John and Bobby. So as I said, anything you guys need done with your homes, they are the right guys. Anything you need done. And as I said, I promise you guys, you guys would absolutely love them to death. They are some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. I'll put their information in the description of the videos because anything I can do to help us out, I'm gonna always help us out. And us meaning our locals. These guys are great guys and they deserve all the work they can get. I've known them for quite a few years now and they really are special people. So, um, as I said, you guys can't go wrong when you have someone offering you something where if you're not happy with their service or you feel like you're being ripped off, that it'll be paid for. I mean, if I didn't really trust and love these guys, there's no way that I would offer something like that. But I know what kind of people they are and they are very honorable people. I love them to death. They are very honorable people. And as I said, I love them to death. Amazing, amazing people. So I would not do that to you guys. Anyway, sorry about all of that, you guys. I just, uh, I'm so grateful for you guys. And my heart is so full with you guys in my life that anything I can do to help, I will always go out of my way if, if I have to go out of my way. But none of this is ever feeling like I'm... I'm having to go out of my way. It's just such an honor to be in a, a position to be able to help you guys back. So thank you guys again for everything. And bear with me a sec. Okay, so I decided we're gonna go up through Sugarloaf a little bit, so we turned on to Maple. So you guys can see what the temp, la temperatura is. It's 46 degrees with some beautiful sun rays coming through right there. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Wow, that looks really cool. Okay. So good to hear from you guys. Every time I get a comment, it's like it's just such a wonderful feeling inside. All right, guys, we're coming up to the high school. Right here to the right. This is Big Bear High School. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's the uh, graveyard. So sad, man. sad. I very much don't like graveyards. They make me very scared and very sad. It's very hard for me because I'm very, very weak when it comes to things like this, huh? It hurt my heart very much. It make me cry. It make me very sad. Make me very sad. Sad, sad, sad. It's very sad. Okay, now we got to be very careful here, yes. I can see you, buddy. I gotta wait for cars to freaking pass. Alright. Alright, guys. Instead of going through all that traffic that I saw up there, we're just gonna turn around through here. Go back down. Then we're gonna go back around down to Baldwin and then come back around there down that Big Bear Boulevard now, now, now. That's what we're gonna do there now, 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 now. Now, 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 now. Now, now, brown cow, now, 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 now. All right, okie dokie, artichokey. We kind of switched streets real quick. That was pretty cool. Uh, how I did that without you guys even noticing. I am such an idiot. It just makes me sick sometimes. All right, so 
We are on Baldwin and we're gonna take this all the way down to Highway 38 and then take 38 back onto Big Bear Boulevard. Oh, look at how big that little park is right there. Jeez Louise. I've never really gotten a good look at that park because I'm always just driving by. But yeah, so you guys can see what little snow remains in the Big Bear area. It's a very sad, it's a very sad situation. And there is nothing on the radar, you guys. Absolutely zippity doo dah, zippity a. My oh my, not such a wonderful day. There's too much plenty of sunshine coming my way. Not enough snow. I just, I can't think of another rhyme for that. Not enough snow, but I guess what the hey. <laughs> so dumb, dude. So dumb, dude. So dumb, dude. So dumb, dude. Hot water make the noodle fatter. There we go, the hot water make the noodle fatter. All right, there we go. Don't do that. Crittle tail, you want some crittle tail? You get your nail done. There is some woman who does the nail salon thing so perfectly, it's so awesome, she's so funny. I think her name's Angela. She's a comedian, obviously. Very funny gal. So yeah, look, there's just no snow. Isn't that amazing, you guys? There's nothing over here. Not even a little tiny drop of snow. There's nothing. No snow. But just so those of you who get nervous when you see not that much snow because you like to come up here a lot, just know that we are on the side of town that doesn't get nearly as much snow. So the rest of the drive will be headed back to more of a snowy area. But it's still nothing significant. It's still nothing to write home about. Absolutely nothing to write home about. We're gonna eat here one day. We're definitely gonna eat there. I keep on talking about it at that that Mexican food truck. I keep on talking about it, but I keep on forgetting about it. Maple now, that's what we drove up to Sugarloaf. take these main streets to get back just so you guys can see the back and the, and the main streets it's nice to give you guys all the different options because as I said I want you guys to enjoy your time in Big Bear I don't want you to have to deal with traffic and and all the extra lagging that is involved when visiting Big Bear you guys deserve to get through everything quickly so you can enjoy your time up here snowplow doing? He's plowing away. Plow, plow, no snow. That's very deceptive. It made me feel like there's snow out here. 
How dare he? such a bummer with this little bit of snow. Just so you guys know, the ski resorts are, uh, are still making snow at nighttime or whenever we have our temperatures at freezing or, or below. So it's still very nice conditions up there. I think you guys would still have a wonderful time. Yesterday was, I think, the second of the seven years that I've lived here on my birthday that I didn't go skiing for free. I didn't... I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually come up here and go skiing for free on your birthday. You just show them your driver's license and they'll give you a free pass, but you, you gotta come in on your birthday. Any one of the ski resorts. So that's a pretty cool offer, I would have to say. Save you way over a hundred bucks. And as I said, especially if you get here early, you guys will have plenty of, uh, good snow because of all the fresh snow that they make so it'll feel like it just dumped the prior night you'll you'll have a wonderful time i promise all right passing division road to the left here is big bear snow play this is a fun place to take your children so they can go sledding and not have to worry about sliding into the street and if I remember correctly, I think it has a, um, a, like an automatic walkway to pull you up so your kids don't have to get exhausted after just one time sledding. They can sled all day long and really enjoy themselves. And that's what I want for you guys, to come up here and have an absolute blast. Come take a load off. Sorry about the gas prices being absolutely crazy. It's so pathetic. I'm sorry for a lot of you who it's really, really impacting significantly. So just hang in there, you guys. Seriously, I'm just always taken aback with the beauty. It's so spectacular up here. Just marvelous, man. Absolutely spectacular. And perfect. And you guys have no idea how much I would love to live in Mammoth for a season. Just one season. That's all I want. Just give me one season, please. All right, we're about to come up to the beautiful view of Snow Summit, right around this little left bend here. I love that view right there. That is just, man, I get to say that's the town that I live in. This is where I live. That is so cool, man. Absolutely so cool. Oh boy. Alright, I'm 
gonna turn it off right now because we're at a stoplight. Okay, so we kind of had to take a phone call, so we we did take a turn off of Big Bear Boulevard onto Catalina. So we are on Catalina right now, kind of going parallel to Moon Ridge, and then we're gonna come out on Moon Ridge Road up here. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna be done with, or actually, you know what? Maybe we should probably drive by one of the ski resorts real quick, just so you guys can can kind of see at the higher elevations or right up against the mountain what the snowfall looks like. to Elm Street. Every city has an Elm Street. All right, we are on Elm now, folks. And this is Moon Ridge coming up here. So we are gonna just do a quick drive by Bear Mountain, but we're gonna take the neighborhood instead of going down Moon Ridge Road. So we're gonna go through the neighborhood to get there where it says no ski access. That's where we're going. I know there's no access, but I can get there anyway. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No ski access allowed. Oh my goodness, these people are driving like crazy bastards. All right, here we go, crazy bastards. All right. Cheerio. Oh, cheerio. Paul, thinking about you, bro. <laughs> Paul Seidel, man. My brother from another mother all the way out in the Great Britain area. Yeah, for those of you concerned about the road conditions, you guys are gonna be A-okay. You guys are gonna be A1 steak sauce, is what I'm talking about. Actually, I don't like A1. I like a nice steak when it's just perfectly cooked and perfectly seasoned, with a little, a, a little chunk of butter on there. Oh, ho, 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 boy. That sound good, yeah. here and now we are on club view look at that view of the golf course man look at how pretty that looks imagine taking a shot with that as your backdrop up there unreal man unfreaking real so this is the way you'd be driving to get to bear mountain Obviously, there's no traffic right now because, well, I mean, I thought because of the day of the week it is, there would be traffic, but it is later on in the day. It's 1230 right now, so we are temp, uh, most of the people at the resorts are at the resorts now. Up here like this. Just opens up right here. Boom. 
so pretty. Look at all these people having a blast. Jeez, look at all these people though, period. Holy moly, look at the parking lots. They are crazy full. trip by Bear Mountain. As I said, they do make snow pretty much every single evening. So you guys should be feeling very, very happy out there with good conditions. I never want anybody to think that the conditions are going to be terrible since we haven't had much snow. Don't think that at all because as I said, they do a good job maintaining the heck out of that place more golf course. I can't wait to go play in a few months. Hang on a second, I gotta take this ball, hang on. Okie dokie, artichokey. Smokey dokey. Smokey. Keep in mind, you guys, these wet spots in the road, don't forget, it's very important. Even though we haven't had snow in a little bit, the snow that melts during the day and ends up back on the street like, like this will turn into ice once the temperatures get to freezing. So please, please drive as if it's snowed the same day that you're up here. more beautiful golf course view. I'm telling you guys, it's not beautiful. Imagine playing golf right there. For those of you who enjoy playing golf, what a beautiful place. seeing it this late in the season without hardly anybody here. I really want a bunch of snow so we can have a bunch of you guys come up here and uh, spend some money in Big Bear. Help out our economy. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed cruising with me. I always enjoy having you guys here with me. Um, thank you again for everything. Thanks for all the love and support. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.